previously on Survivor Roleplay. Oh, Wynn, I need to tell you something. I can't go on like this. Please, promise me you won't tell anyone else. Tell anyone else? What are you talking about? I started the fire. I burnt down the bed and breakfast barns. I don't believe any of this. Why? The farm can't stay afloat on its own, so we relied on the bed and breakfast to keep our business in profit. A few weeks before the fire, we had a safety inspection, and they concluded the barns were no longer safe enough for commercial use. I got a quote from a local builder. It would have cost more than all of the money we have in our bank account. I thought we could rebuild the barns using the compensation money from our insurance company. I've ruined everything. Please keep this a secret. Don't tell your uncle or the police. Can you do that for me? This is ridiculous. No, Auntie, I won't keep your secret. What you've done is really wrong. I thought I could trust you, Win. You'll destroy everything for us. And I'll go to prison? Is that what you want? You would think that windrowing a field of grass would take your mind off things. But not this. Not what Auntie has done. It's disgraceful. How could she do that to Uncle Dennis? How could she burn down their business? For fraud? I don't know. But I'm going to get this road because Peter Wood wants it doing. And I believe he's going to be here tomorrow with his forage wagon to pick it all up and put it into the pit. But right now, I really need to clear my head somehow. And I need to figure out exactly how to tell Uncle Dennis. He still doesn't know. And he is still the person that is going to be put into prison. Maybe it scares you Like it scares me What do we do With all Field finished. I better get this taken back to the yard. I'll put everything back onto the low loader for Peter tomorrow, and then we'll be ready to go hopefully first thing in the morning. I think I'm going to go and try and find Dennis. He's probably either in the house or in his getaway room, which I'm yet to name. I need to find a nickname for it. Let's close the gate. I'm thinking hammer related, since it is totally full of hammers. Maybe the inner hammer sanctum. So, yeah, Windrow first, and then the mower. I would love to visit Peter's farm. Must be an incredible place, and he's storing Uncle Dennis's equipment there as well. Okay, and there is the mower. So let's attach that onto the back of the tractor. There we go. We don't need the PTO just for lifting it and putting it onto the trailer. Right. So that should be fine. Just put that there. And oh yeah, I should also strap them. Let's just take the pins out. Put a strap over that one and a strap over that one. It's best to do that just in case Peter doesn't check the load before heading off tomorrow. And I think for now, we're going to put the 135 over in the workshop. 
should be fine just here. Now, let's go and find Uncle. Uncle, are you here? I am, yeah. Oh, just been having a bit of a nap. Well, I've got something to tell you. Oh, you've done the job, have you? Yes, I have raked the field, but it's a bit of a sensitive issue. Um, it's about your wife. It's about Auntie. Well, I know she's an interesting topic. Go on, then. Um, she's just admitted to me that she started the fire. Now, this is not the time for joking, is it? I'm really sorry, Uncle. She told me that she started the fire deliberately to claim the compensation money. My own wife? No. No, she wouldn't do this to me. Well, I'll tell you something, Wynn. I didn't think you could sink so low. Falsely accusing my wife. Oh, blimey. I'm sorry, Uncle. It is the truth. I'll give you some space tonight. I'll go and stay somewhere locally. The only place that you could go to make me happy, young lad, is the moon. Since my house that I'm renting isn't ready yet, I'm going to have to stay here at the local pub. Luckily they have quite a large car park, so I think I'll just park somewhere over here. Should be fine here. And I'll see if I can uh, arrange a room for the night. It is a beautiful pub. It's called... Saturn's Rings, which is very in keeping with all of the names around here. Lunar Ridge, and we've got Shooting Star Fuel. There might be some more as well, which I've forgotten. Uh, but anyway, yes, let's go and book in. Well, I have to admit, they're very hospitable. £40 per night per room, and obviously I can eat here as well. Uh, so it's going to be a nice change. But I think, as I now have this opportunity to go and explore the town whilst the sun is setting, I should definitely take advantage of that. admit that staying here has been a breath of fresh air but I now must get to the farm I had a lovely breakfast it only cost 10 pounds more so 50 pounds for the entire night I don't think that's bad going really but soon I'll be able to move into my own house which I'm looking forward to hopefully I'm not too late it is currently 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to hold Peter up. I better park somewhere over here. We need quite a lot of space today. Oh, here's Dennis. Uncle, honestly, I didn't want to tell you. I just felt like I had to. Now, don't you worry, Wynn. Mrs. Jenkins and I have discussed everything. She's admitted to it to me as well. Really? Aye. Well, at least she's honest. But she didn't admit to it straight away. 
Well, I think she's scared, to be honest. I think when I'm the problem, I think I've failed her. Dennis, that's nonsense. She started the fire. What are you going to do? The police are coming. We've told them everything as well. She's going to hand herself in. I'm so sorry, Dennis. Oh, what's that noise? Here. I haven't bought this. I've only put the deposit down. Oh, I think I'd better leave him to it. Ah, here is Peter. Peter! It's all done, the field is all rowed. Uncle's just over there fighting with the delivery driver. Now that is what I like to see. Here's the forage wagon. Feel free to use it whenever you want, Win. I see the combine's arrived. Yeah, the combine is here, but he only put a deposit down. So I don't know why it's here now. He hasn't paid in full. Well, he hasn't, Win. But I have. You have? What, a present? <laughs> hey, you should be a comedian, Win. A present. No, I'm just helping him out. He can pay me back in instalments. Peter, that is very generous of you. You better tell him he's having a punch up. Now look here, Woody. I'm not having you running this farm. Oh, calm down, Dennis. I've paid for it. Just pay me back however much you can a year. It's fine. Hey? Hang on. There's going to be some form of catch. What kind of interest? You can't see when someone's doing a favour, can you, Dennis? Zero. Zero percent interest. Well, I don't know what to say, Peter. That's very kind of you. Just say thank you. Thank you, Peter. Oh, you have been a good help. Right. Now, I see you've brought your trundle wagon with you. If you're referring to my forage wagon, yes, I brought it with me. Wynn's going to be using it. He's going to pick up all the grass in that field to create a silage clamp. Right, I best be off. I'll take the John Deere home. That was interesting. So I just need to move this out of the way because the delivery driver needs me to take the combine off the trailer. Apparently the header is coming later. Okay, now how do we move? Ah, start. That would be a good start. That's it. That's the engine running. And now very, very carefully, let's remove this from the trailer. Uh, I don't know exactly where to put it because we need to have the pit open because all that grass is going to go into there. I suppose over here there is actually an area I noticed behind this shed over here so that might be a good place to put it but that allows the delivery driver to get back to the dealership yep we've got some space here this keeps it out of the way so that should be fine it drives very nicely a great machine but that is just so kind of Peter to help Dennis and Auntie out like that. He's pretty amazing. Once again, I am being left in a tractor that I have never driven before. But I think I am starting to get the hang of all of these. Having said that, I have not used this uh, forage wagon before. In fact, I've never used a forage wagon in my entire life. So this will be interesting. Ah, that crop's growing now, so it's going to be difficult to drive in there. But I really have to just clear the entire field and get it put into the pit. And then, well, I'm not too sure what we're going to be clamping it with. But that's something I'll leave to Peter. Peter seems to be running this farm more than Uncle is now. Which is interesting. Okay, let's see if I can work this. Let's lower that, engage the PTO. Oh, yep, that's working. Brilliant, we are loading. This is a nice tractor. And what I love about Peter's tractors is just how clean he keeps them. Because this one isn't new, but it's still incredibly clean. So we can see it filling up. 
a beautiful day for this. At least they'll have some silage for the cows. A good boost instead of having to buy it in. I think we're almost full already. So once we are full, I'll get it taken back to the yard and we can unload. Yeah, just cram a bit more in. But it looks like we're going to have quite a few loads out of this. Okay, I think that will do it. We are full. And this is where I need to take extra care with all the machinery around. Actually, maybe I should have come around the other way. Once I get the hang of it, I'll figure out the best way of doing it all. Oh, that's not too bad. But yeah, I think I will probably come around the other way next time. But they have so many fields here, but they only ever seem to work in a couple. It's uh, It seems wasteful. And to be honest, I've never seen any other crops in any of the fields that are overgrown. They've just always been overgrown. Which is certainly interesting. Now he has a combine, he can actually cultivate up those fields, which he never uses, and put arable crops in them. This is it, the final bit. Let's go and put it into the silage pit. It makes a big difference using the larger equipment. But then, yeah, it's going to be so much money for Uncle and Auntie to upgrade. We have got a bit over here near the gate. I think I'll have to close the gate to get it go. Field finished. It turns out it wasn't really much easier going the other way, so I think either way will be absolutely fine. Oh look, the police are here for auntie. Quickly go and unload this. So that is the entire field in the pit. And it might not look like much, but that is going to be so handy. So that will all need to be clamped down and sheeted. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Dennis. <sighs> I'm sorry as well, believe me. Oh, 
Where do I go from here? She meant everything to me. What should Dennis do? Your vote will influence the future. Choose wisely.